Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and today I'm gonna tell you how to use indirect formula. What is indirect formula? Indirect is one of the most powerful, one of the most powerful lookup formulas in Excel. It tries to look up data for you based on cell references. Uh, why is it called indirect? Let me tell you why is it called indirect. Uh, to understand that, we will have to look at look at this example. These are the name of the months, and these are the territories, north, south, east, and west. And so these are the uh, the sales in these territories of a specific rep. All right. So now let the rep's name be Sumit. All right. That's how it is. Now, what I'm trying to do is okay, type cell address of any of the cells in the above table such as G6. So I type G6 over here. Sorry. <laughs> now, what did it do over here? I, had, I have applied the indirect formula. It immediately gave me what was in cell G6 which is East. Let me make it H6. It is 70. So I'm using the indirect formula over here. So what is this formula doing? It is looking at this cell and then looking at the contents of this cell and then pulling up the relevant data of the cell. See? Now let me pull up the put up the formula for you. How to do it is equal to indirect bracket open. It's asking for a reference text. Okay. This is my reference text. Bracket close. Here's the answer. That's so very simple, right? Now let's use it in a different scenario. I've created these sheets, say Sumit, Tahamina, and Murtaza. All right. Now, what I want to do is, using the indirect formula, I want to pick up data from these sheets, which we can do very easily. All right. So. The, uh, the sheet from which I do, want to pull up the data is Tahmina and the cell from which I want to pull up the data would be F4. So how would I apply the formula? Let's see. The formula would go something like this is equal to indirect bracket open reference text would be this. Now since this is referring to a sheet, what would we do is that we would select this cell and then we'll enter and percent sign and then we will enter quotes and exclamation mark and then and and then the cell reference and close the bracket and here's the answer why did i put in so much and and this exclamation mark because in excel when you are referring to a different sheet and and to a cell number in a different sheet you have to specify to excel using uh, something that it can understand so to refer to a sheet excel uses exclamation mark here is an example where i have used the direct way of referring to a sheet which is simply clicking on the is equal to sign and going to the sheet and choosing the cell so see what did it do tahmina exclamation mark f4 that means referring to sheet tahmina and cell number f4 same we have done over here we have referred to sheet tahmina cell number f4 see this formula is very very powerful very powerful and in this example i have tried to sum a continuous range using the indirect formula so how i have done that okay let me show you let's increase the font size over here what i'm trying to do is i am trying to sum a range of f4 till m4 on sheet murtaza all right using the indirect formula so this is my reference text and percent since this is a sheet quotes open exclamation mark now and now 
I have selected this cell. Now I have to tell Excel that I would be doing a sum of a continuous range. So how do we tell that to Excel? We tell it to Excel using the colon sign. See, J20 is referring to Murtaza. J21 is referring to the cell address F4 on sheet Murtaza. And <coughs> now I want Excel to understand that I want to add cells from F4 to M4 on sheet Murtaza for which I am using this ampersand sign. Now I will select this cell which contains the reference to M4 and I will close these brackets and here's the answer it is 501968 see we can test it also is equal to sum this is on sheet Murtaza f4 to m here's the answer 501968 all right well, I hope you like this video uh, and this file can be downloaded from my website myelesson.org for free. So until the next video, this is your guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.